just want to give a sound up to the China efficiency. This is pretty huge. This is what happened when we entered the jungle. It's pretty worth the trip. Look at that. Alright guys, I'm right here in Chengdu Shuangyang Airport again and we're going to Kuoming again. Exactly the same trip that we took last time to Bangladesh. But this time we're going to a different country, a different city, by a different means of transportation. By staying different, I mean we'll take the China Laos Railway and head right to Vientiane, the capital city of Laos. Right now, I'm gonna get briefing a little bit about how we're gonna enter the laws. First thing, use your passport to get this paper, and then they will give you an immigration card, and then you're gonna fill in some of the information right here. And then that's it. Uh, we're good to go to Laos. I bring my own bottle of water, and <laughs> we're now traveling at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour. It's pretty steady. Right here, you can see the seats is pretty tight and clean. The space, you can see it's more than five or six feet, which is pretty spatial. And right down there, you got the charging facilities that can maintain the power of your devices since it's a pretty long trip. Speaking of the trip, there are eight stations along the route that stretches over 1,000 kilometers. And the journey takes 10 and a half hours, including the time spent on going through customs. Filming sounded loud when we went through the China custom, but I just want to say it only took us like 10 to 15 minutes to walk through all the security checks and China customs, which is pretty quick. Just want to give a thumb up to the China efficiency. And finally, we arrived. This is a really, really huge station. Tasting local food was certainly necessary before we explored this country. It's a new morning, and I just come to the northern part of Vientiane. As you can see, the surroundings are kind of empty, nobody's working here, but don't worry. Now the Citronese company, along with some other Chinese companies, are trying to uh, work out this logistic distribution center. Once it's done, it will directly connect it to China Lost Railway. The cargoes will deliver all the minerals and cassavas that are produced here and send them right back to China. Here's our pickup. Cassavas, honest speaking, I had no idea what cassava looked like, but this time, my eyes were ready to be fisted with a vast land of cassavas. Before we started the engine, I didn't anticipate to see what was coming next. Hey, hey. We're actually crossing a bridge. A wooden bridge. Alright, we made it. Take a more, take a more. <laughs> After the heavy bumpy road, we finally arrived at the cassava planting zone. It has an area of 4,000 hectares, and each hectare can produce as many as 20 to 25 pounds. It's really worth the trip. If you have no idea what 4,000 hectares means, here it is. Cassava starch is a kind of starch. It can also be reprocessed to produce alcohol, food, or even cosmetics. It ranks top third on the list of imported goods from Laos to Sichuan province. Iron ore is another thing that relies heavily on importation from Laos. I'm at a loading site where this cars will load the minerals from here, get them in the freight, and send them back to China via China Laos Railway. Look at that! So, in just one day, there will be as many as 104 freight of manner of being loaded here and sent to the railway. The is is the 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 and I'm also being informed that later there will be some vegetables sent from China via the same railway and then send it to Thailand. And all, meanwhile, there will be some durians and other fruits that will be sent from Thailand right back to China, taking Laos as a transit country. Since I was already here, it would be a pity if I didn't go to the railway station to see how the goods from China were actually sent into Laos. 
呃西兰花，然后有一个龟的话是咸辣咸辣椒。辣椒，辣椒不会是四川的吧？<笑>可能，可能是是吧？那肯定是四川的。<笑>这个流程很快啊。对他们现在经过一两年的一个时间，就一个是起货也好，发货也好，都是特别流畅，都特别流畅。So we just came out of the window box, and at, according to camera time, it only took like five minutes to achieve all the paperwork. Now we can see the railway is carrying all the cargoes that are coming in the station. Okay, now we can see the railway is carrying all the cargoes that are coming in the station. Okay, now we can see the railway is carrying all the cargoes that are coming in the station. 他这边的话进来之后，就会安排老挝这边的车，把他呃兑卸之后，兑卸到车上之后转去泰国。之后我们会有更多的那个货物进来。呃，之后的话，像呃周四的话，我我们这边的话会有十七个过过来，呃，做清关手续，然后把它放到放归到泰泰国那边，然后明天早上的话就会去去到曼谷市场。My trip in Laos took me only three days, seventy-two hours. Not long enough for me to delve into the local lives, though. I was surely educated enough to grasp a somehow full picture of unprecedented relations between China and Laos, especially after the opening of the railway system. In my last hours before the airport, I was blessed to have authentic Sichuan dishes, which reminded me of my next mission to Singapore. Spoiler alert! Stay tuned to my vlog.